thank you for joining me for today's workout. We are going to be strengthening the thighs, hips, and glutes, as well as toning all throughout them. We will be doing some of our exercises standing, but I will have the modification pop up for a seated option. So no worries on that, I have you covered. We do have our long band, which I recommend using for today. If you do not have one, that is okay. You can also use a short band. You may just have to move it from the thighs down to the ankles or the feet, depending on what we are working on. You guys are a smart bunch. You will figure that out, no problem. As always, the equipment is optional. You can do this workout with nothing at all. Make sure that whatever you do, you feel good and you keep yourself safe today. And then towards the end of the workout, some of our exercises will be seated for everyone. Go ahead, get set up. Please make sure that you are subscribed. It is free to do so and it just supports my channel. We're gonna get moving right now. All right, we're all set, time to get moving. Go ahead, give me some modified jumping jacks here. They are going to look exactly the same. If you are in the chair and taking our seated option, Nice and easy here. We wanna warm the body up, give it a good warning that it's gonna be moving and working. Let's go ahead and do 10 more here. So. Four, three, two, and one. Drop on down into those hips. Make sure those abs are pulled in and we're just gonna tap out to the side. You do not have to go far. We're warming up through the fronts and the backs of the legs. It's going to be an awesome workout today. This is going to look the exact same. If you're in the chair, you're just going to tap those feet out and bring them back in. Anything that's going to be different from our standing version today, you'll see a window pop up with a demonstration. So if you choose to stay seated and it's a little bit different for the move, you'll see it come up. Otherwise you're gonna do exactly what I'm doing. You're just gonna do it in the chair. Whew, very good. Go ahead, give me a nice wide march here. Again, same thing in the chair. You're just gonna draw one leg up at a time, stretching and opening through the hips. You have your chair here. You can use it for balance if that works better for you. Core nice and tight. I know our focus is on the legs today, but so as muscle right in the hips, we are gonna be working on that. The muscle is responsible for connecting the trunk of the body to the leg. So you are going to need a little bit of support and engagement from your core today as well. So bonus ab work. Let's take one more set here. Very good. Step the right foot forward for me, left leg back, and we're gonna rock those hips back and then crunch them forward. So opening the abs, closing the abs. Very good. Halfway there, five more. Good, warming up through the core, stretching through the low back, get a nice big tuck here. Everything should feel healthy and good in the low back. Three, two, and one. And then go ahead, send your weight to that back foot and then up on the toes of the right foot and you're gonna kind of give me that bug squash here. So we're lifting the hip and rotating it over. No twisting in your standing leg. Please be very conscious of what that knee is doing. Good, almost there with this one. Five, four, two, and one. Step the right foot back, 
left foot forward. This time you do not have to switch sides. Roll those hips back, tuck it forward, crunch those abs, open and close. Very good. Good opportunity to stretch out the low back here. You can get some arms involved if you would like to get a little more out of this. Halfway there. Make sure that you are breathing. Exhale on the crunch is gonna be a little bit easier. Inhale on the open. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. Go ahead, bug squash here on this side. You should feel that hip warming up. A Little bit of those obliques working as well. No twisting in your right leg. Tighten up the core. Hands just counteract where this hip and knee are going. That's it, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job on the warm up. Let's go ahead and get started here. You are going to grab your band and we are going to take it around the right leg and then we're gonna hold it with the left arm. So opposite sides. You can face whichever way you want. I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see what I have going on. Only the right leg, tap it back. It doesn't have to go far, more or less tension depending on how much work you would like. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna hit 10 of these right here. That band is gonna roll on you a little bit so you can stabilize with the bottom hand as well. Three, two, and one. Very good. We're gonna take this band underneath the feet both feet, pull those handles up as much as you can, and then we're gonna step out with the right foot, in with the right foot, making sure that our band is very secure under the left foot, 10 of those. Halfway there. two, and one. Beautiful job there. Let's bring it back up around that right leg. Grab it. <laughs> Sometimes the bands fight you a little bit. They get a little squiggly. Grab it with the left hand, step it back 10 times. three, two, and one. If that band starts pulling tight on the legs, you guys can skip that. It's the nice part about at-home workouts. Nobody is watching. We're not trying to compete with anybody. We're just doing what feels good for us. Step out again, band under both feet, very secure under the left leg. Step out with the right and in. Core nice and tight. Nine and 10, beautiful job. We're gonna go back one more time. I'm gonna skip my band this time because I do feel like it's starting to dig into me. That is where the thicker loop band will come in handy. Step it back, use those muscles there in the back. Eight, nine, and 10. You have your modification there. If you are in the chair, here we go. Last time here. I know, I've, <laughs> I'm starting to feel these ones. They start off a little easy and then they build up quick, 10 steps out with the right leg, nice and solid. There is no rush. Three, 
Very good. Make sure that there's no bending in the ankle or the knee. The whole leg moves as one solid piece to take that band out, even if it's small. I'm so proud of you. Keep going if you can. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Release tension from your band. Step off of it nice and easy. Have a seat here. Very good. Again, we're all doing this one seated. So we're gonna take this band around the right leg. You wanna make sure that it is secure to the middle of the foot. You're gonna watch this band the whole entire time you move. We're just gonna bend the knee up. Now how high and at what angle depends on what feels good for you. So we're just gonna push down and lift, kind of driving that heel to the floor on the right leg only. Core nice and tight, body up. Nine and 10. Beautiful job, bring it down. Now we are going to take both feet on the band. Handles just come somewhere comfortable, but you want tension in those legs. So maybe pull that band tighter underneath those legs if you need a little more work. Out, out, in, in. Right leg moves first. So out, left, out, right, in, in. Very good. Out, in, in. So right leg is always first. Out, out. Good, we've got three done already. Go with me. Core tight. Four. Halfway there. Watch that band to make sure that it is not moving underneath the feet. You can readjust if you need to. You are almost there. This is your last one. In, in. Beautiful job. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. Whew. Here we go. We're gonna take this band. We're gonna take this very good, take this band and put it just underneath the right foot. Cross the band in front of the right shin and just go ahead, set them somewhere over to the left. You want quite a bit of tension in there because this move is not very big. We're just gonna turn those toes out. Little bit of ankle stability here. Nine and 10, beautiful job. Let's go ahead, lift again. You are already underneath that right foot. Pull this band for as much tension as you need. Secured to the middle of the foot, 10 times here. Halfway there, core tight. Make sure that you're watching where that band is going, that it's not gonna roll off the foot. Three more, two, and one. Beautiful job, step that down. Left foot on, tighten that band underneath those feet. Same thing, we are still leading with the right leg. Our seated exercise will take two sets each. We'll go back to the left leg, three sets, two more sets seated. So you'll actually get more of these seated ones as we go. Out, out in, in. Here we go. Don't overthink it. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. You move the band. It does not move you. Smaller movement if you feel like it's too much for you to control. Very good. You 
you are almost there. Last one, beautiful job. Very good, again, take that band underneath the right foot, both bands come to the front of it, turn that ankle out, lift the toe and tap. So just a little extra pull from this band, 10 total. Eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful job. We're gonna take it standing again for our left leg. If you choose to work in the chair, it's the same modification as before and you will see them pop up as we go. You just switch it to the left leg. Here we go. Left side of the chair, banded step backs around the left leg. Good, and you just situate this band sometimes. <sighs> Sometimes they're a lot of trouble to work with, but you've got this. Step it back and in. You do not have to go back really far to find the work. If it's rolling on you, you can help stabilize with the right arm or you can skip the band completely. Three, two, and one. Beautiful job, undo that band. Both feet come to the top of it. Give yourself a little bit of tension there. Step out with the left leg, nice and stable in the right leg, small bend in the knee. 10 of them together, here we go. Very good, three more. And one beautiful job, release tension, step off of that band slow. Again, take it around that left leg. Same thing here, step it back and in 10 times. Three more. And 10, you should be feeling that right leg quite a bit because even though we're moving the left leg, that right leg is working too. Again, onto the band, not complicated today. We're just hammering away at these. Step out with the left leg 10 times. If the legs are getting tired, that is okay. Take a modification, take a smaller movement. Try to keep going. Three more here, and then we'll have one more set, and we'll take it back to the chair. Last one, beautiful job, release, and then step off. Same thing here, I'm gonna keep the sides even, so I'm gonna take that step back with my left leg, no band on this side, and I'm gonna give myself a little extra squeeze through the, these posterior muscles in the leg. Halfway there. Two more. And 10, beautiful job, step back on that band last time. It's always nice when you get to the last of the sets and you don't have to do it again. Make sure your band is in a good place. It's nice and secure. Here we go, 10 on the left. I definitely feel that right leg. If it's screaming at you, you are not alone. I feel it too. Five more. Two. And one beautiful job, release tension. Step off of that slow. Take it back to your chair. Two sets on the left leg. And uh, we will finish out with some hip strengthening 
and some nice good stretches to loosen out this tension. Under the left foot, over the front, into the right hand. Same thing here, be prepared that this side may feel a little bit different than the right side, and that's okay if you need to modify, take the modification. 10 press downs from wherever you are working, more or less band. Watching the band to make sure that it is nice and secure through this whole movement. Very good, two more. And 10, beautiful job. Underneath both feet, and again, keep that tension of the band narrow in between those feet, this time out, out, in, in, starting with the left for each. So grab your band here, out with the left, then the right, in left, in right. So left, right, left, right. It's okay if you mess it up. Nice tight core. You're doing awesome. We have two more. And go ahead, bring that band around the middle of the left foot. Again, to the front, pull snug with the right arm. Tap those left toes up and out 10 times. Nine and 10. Beautiful right away. Let's just get it done. Bring that foot up. Make sure that that band is secure. Press and lift. 10 total wherever you are working. Core stays nice and tight. I always like to remind you guys. Nine and 10, beautiful job. Open up that band, step the right foot onto it as well. Nice and snug in the hands. Left side goes first. Beautiful job, hang in there with me. <sighs> Halfway there. Knees stay over the ankles as you get tired. Last one. Beautiful, step the right foot off, take that band to the front, give it a nice snug pull, left toes up and out 10 times here. Nine and 10, beautiful job, go ahead. Now we are going to work on a little bit of hip strength. I'm gonna demonstrate this standing, but I have a modification for you if you prefer to stay in the chair. So we are going, so you'll see the modification come up if you would like to follow along with that. All right, working on hip strength here, you're gonna step onto the band with both of those feet and you're just gonna draw this band lightly over your right thigh and you're going to adjust the tension so that as you lower, you feel just a nice snug pull. And then you will lift 10 times here, making sure that that band stays nice and secure under your left foot. We'll go here together right now. Go with me. Raise that knee flexion in the ankle and foot. If it starts fussing, modify, do this with no band. Nine and 10, step that leg back. Quick little break, because I know that those hip flexors can get fussy. I'm gonna 
retighten my shoe here. And then we will go one more time and we will switch sides. So again, step on that band with the left foot, draw it snug over the right thigh, flex those toes and lift 10 times here. Even if it's lower to start, it's beautiful. I will take whatever you have for me today. Halfway there. Three, two, and one beautiful step that down. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this workout, the, that psoas muscle, it connects the legs to the trunk of the body. So it's responsible for a lot of hip stability. It's very important to keep that nice and strong. If you would like, you can go ahead and move to the left side of your chair or you can stay here on the right, as always. If you're in your seat, you stay there too. Drop that band to the floor, step on it with the right leg. Left foot comes out, band comes over nice and snug as it's lowered, locked in with that right leg and lift here. 10 of these, flex those toes up. nine and 10. Take that down, give it a quick little break. I did have a method to the madness. I saved these here towards the end of the workout when those hip flexors had already worked during some of our movements. So we worked them a little passively and then now we are tapping into them when they're already slightly fatigued. So you're gonna get a lot out of this, but if you're feeling a lot of work in there, that's why. Drop it over that left leg 10 more times and you're done, lift. Flex those toes up, nice and strong in that arm, nice and solid in the core, you have your chair. If you need a little bit of help with your balance or you can take the seated option, halfway there. three, two, and one. Drop that down, release all tension from the band before you step off of it and take it to the back of the chair. And we will all have a seat here. One last exercise for those ankles and also mobility for them. So it's exercise and stretching. Draw that right leg up, five circles out. As big as you can get them, while staying comfortable and safe. Knee stays level with the other knee. Four and five. Now, take those toes down to the floor and up all the way up, all the way down, five times. If you started with me, this is number three, four and five. Now to the other direction. So counterclockwise, if you started, mimicking my movement. Very good, okay, set that one down. You probably felt a little bit of that thigh work in there. Same thing on the left, 10 circles, counter, sorry, 10 circles total, five of them counterclockwise. Don't panic, we're only doing five. four and five, point, flex. Two, very good, only five of them. Four, last one here, five, clockwise this time, nice big circle. Four, beautiful job, five, very nice. Set that down. I have no doubt that those legs are a little bit tired. If they're not, you're welcome to do this exercise routine. Again, go ahead, lift that right leg, send those hips back and just reach forward with that left hand until you feel a stretch. You can kind of lock 
the right arm to the back of the chair to make sure that you do not pull too far forward and come out of the chair. If you can, you can grab that thigh and lift there, stretching into the hamstring. Lower that one down. Same thing, other side here. Lean forward until you feel the stretch. Release that down and then on up with the right leg. Grab gently onto the shin, but do not pull it in. You're just gonna stress out that knee. So we're just lifting into the hip just a little bit there. And then draw that forward. And again, guide that knee up towards the shoulder. You can flex those toes up and release it nice and easy. You can also grab underneath the thigh if that's a little more comfortable on the knee. Totally up to you. Same thing here on the left side. Draw this hip up. Hip strength is important to keep you safe. So is hip mobility. So we want them nice and strong and we also want them to move through a nice big range of motion to the front. Draw that one up and in underneath if it's sensitive to pull on the front of the leg oh, set that one down send these toes up one last little circle each direction for those ankles and then we will open up the chest stretch those arms back inhale take those arms all the way up and we're going to stretch out the low back here before we go, making sure that everything feels nice and good before you continue on with your day. So nice, good forward fold here. You can give yourself a little shimmy side to side and then hang it there in the middle, nice and heavy. And then roll yourself up, hug those abs in, come back to your good posture, good deep breath in and all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this workout. I hope that you can feel yourself getting stronger and more flexible and that you are getting everything out of these workouts that you need. I am here for you. Please let me know what you thought. Until our next workout, you guys take good care of yourselves and I will see you again soon.